Happy 4th of July, ladies. I have been seeing all these fun 4th of July, like, you know, red, white, and blue looks and stuff. And I just got out of the shower and got dressed in my festive gear. We have no plans. Since we were on vacation last week, we didn't really make any plans for the 4th. So, and we stayed around here. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to hop on since we have no place to go. Who knows? Maybe we'll decide to do something tonight. I think we're going to watch fireworks, but I thought, you know what? I just want to get on, play with makeup. You all know me. I just love playing with makeup. Um, so say hi if you are on here. If you're watching this in replay, say hi as well. Let me know how your 4th of July is going or went, if you did anything fun or exciting. Um, okay, I just curled my lashes. So because I want to do more of a fun, bold um, eye look, I'm going to actually start with my eyeshadows today. Um, I always say that that's like probably the best way of doing it, but I don't often <laughs> follow that direction because I... Um, I don't know why it makes sense to do your eyes first, but for some reason I rarely ever do. So I just have to grab a few things from some of my other palettes because I am using colors, like I said, that are probably not colors I'm using all that often. I don't think I need this one. Okay. So I want to do a fun red, white, and blue eyeshadow look today. I had a Saint Sister that did it yesterday and I thought it was so pretty. Um, I'm just guessing on the colors that she used because um, I forgot to ask her what colors she used. But I am going to, you guys, I'm going to be going through all kinds of my palettes trying to find where I have all my colors. Um, so I'm going to start out with this. Um, this color right here and I'm gonna get my multitasker brush the multitasker brush is this one that has like a nice small end and this nice flat paddle this is great for like eyeshadow um, more like detailed looks and because I'm gonna use such a bold bright color I'm gonna use this today so I'm gonna use saffron let me make sure that this is the right one because for some reason I'm thinking no this one is scarlet no, we'll use Scarlet. That's okay. So here's Scarlet. And I'm just going to do one corner of the outer eye. Like so. Now this is not like an everyday look that I would do. It's like a cherry red. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I need to put my palette down. And I do want to make it pretty. Bold. Oh, I just heard my first firework for the day. Anyone else have like fireworks going off crazy last night already? For like an hour and a half straight, our lights or our skies were like boom, boom, boom. It was crazy. Okay, so I think I should have done Scarlet. Let me see if I can find, not Scarlet, I should have done Saffron because this is a glossy red. It looks like I'm bleeding from my eye, isn't it? Let me see, here we go. Let's add, is this the right one? Let me make sure I have the right one. Nope, that's Scarlet again. Here we go. I'm just gonna clean this off. Okay, this is the one I'm gonna actually go over because this is a matte finish. This one is um, Scarlet. And I think a matte finish will be better. It's gonna stay put better. So it does have a little bit more of a pinky undertone than Scarlet, but that's okay. Okay. And then we'll clean up the edges later. This is just going to be me playing today. I'm going to fix this right here. 
See, this is why I'm starting out with my red because, or starting out with my eyes, because I am trying something new. There we go. That looks better. So you want more of a straight edge right there. And you can actually get something to make that straight edge if you want. Okay, so there's my red. I am going to wipe off a bunch of this red. I might just use a different, I think I have a multi, another multi-task brush. Yes, I do. Okay. Now let's get another eyeshadow. So this was Scarlet and Saffron um, Lip and Cheek. Then I'm going to get, where is it? Um, da, 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 it's in this one. I'm going to use a Sapphire. This is one of our cream eyeshadows. So I'm going to use a, the multitasker brush again. I like have not sapphire. I did say sapphire. I um, haven't used this much at all. So let's do the same thing, but on the outer side or on the other side. Now this is going to give me a nice base. And then I'm going to go in with um, one of our powders called denim, denim and um, get it even more vibrant. I've had this glue forever because I just don't use it. I'm going to pick up a bunch. Do you see how I got a bunch on there? And I am going to layer it on. So I'm doing like half of my lid. Apparently a little more because I went a little crazy. And I am going to bring it out a little bit. Trying to make it even on both sides as much as I can. That looks pretty even. Now let's go and get um, denim, which is really going to make this blue pop a little bit more. Okay. So that was Sapphire. If you like cream eyeshadows, it's a really pretty blue. Okay, now let's go in to the others. And I'm just gonna keep using that same brush. Here we go, isn't this such a pretty blue? This is like a perfect blue for 4th of July. Now I'm gonna use that same brush and pick it up, tap a little bit off, and then I'm just gonna go over it to really, ooh, do you see how that's already making it so much more vibrant? It's adding a little bit of sparkle. So if you are ever doing a bold look or also just trying some new things out with eyeshadows, I highly suggest you start with your eyes because then you can go in really easily to clean it up and then you don't wreck the rest of your face. So pretty. Okay, let's do a little bit more blue up here. Okay, there's my red and my blue and now the magic is going to happen with an illuminator actually. Do you guys see how I'm like using all of our different products, how versatile they are? So we have a lip and cheek on my eye, I have eyeshadows on my eyes, and now I'm going to use an illuminator called Glamazing. If you are a Glamazing girl, a big fan of it, give me some hearts. Glamazing is such a pretty, pretty color. That one I keep in my normal everyday palette. I am going to use, let's use the smudge, smudge brush today. I think I'm going to use the more rounded dome end of the smudge brush. Here is Glamazing. Do I want Glamazing or I want Unicorn? You know what? I think I want Unicorn. Just kidding. You could totally use Glamazing here. I think I'm going to do Unicorn. Hi, Gail. Thanks for hopping on. So Unicorn is our white. And maybe I'll go in with a little Glamazing too. I'm just doing a fun eyeshadow and just fun 4th of July look since I have nowhere else to go. <laughs> I have nothing else planned. And I'm going in here and adding in, I think I might do Glamazing. I find, we'll do a little mix of both maybe. 
So I am taking it all the way up to that red and getting a nice little transition. There we go. And I think I am gonna do some glamazing after this. Okay, then, like I said, I have not done this before, so who knows how it's gonna turn out. Get a nice little transition going on there with your colors. And then I'm gonna go in with some glamazing. I don't wanna mix those colors too much. I was thinking about taking the kids to some sort of um, 4th of July like parade today, but we had um, our town day celebration uh, a couple weeks ago. And oh my goodness, they handed out so, so much candy that like I said, I don't even want to go buy another parade because you know, the kids, their favorite part is the candy. And oh my goodness, they have their own like big gallon size bags full of candy. We have a like cookie jar panda that we keep candy in full of candy. And then my husband also took a big bag of uh, a big gallon size bag full of candy um, to work just so that we could get some of it out of our house. Like it was ridiculous. So I'm like, we are not doing another parade. We just can't. Okay. I'm going to do glamazing here. I absolutely love the sparkle I get from glamazing. Yes, this is the sparkle I was looking for. So I don't know if I would have needed the um, unicorn first, but I think the unicorn worked really well to get a nice little transition there without muddying up my color. So now I'm just going to go over all of that, the inner parts of both eyes with this glamazing. <sighs> Fun, huh? <sighs> I think I might have brought it over a little too far and we'll have to touch it up. We'll see. And when you're using like shimmers and stuff, you're gonna want to like pat it on so it stays where you're putting it. Should we use like glitter glitter? Like I have some silver glitter that could be kind of fun to use with this. Do I want to do that or not? So fun, isn't that cool? It's not, definitely not a look I do all the time, but Let's see, I wanna fix up my red a little bit here. Let's go in with a little bit more of the, um, let's see, this is saffron. That's that matte red. And let's just touch this up a little bit just to bring back some of that red that I lost. So pretty. I am loving this. So much fun. Should we do, let's figure out, what should we do for like an eyeliner? Like a blue eyeliner? That could be fun. Okay. Let's do a little bit of that glamazing up on my brow bone here. And get it here and we'll clean it all up when I do my highlight and my contour all over the rest of my face but I'm thinking like a fun blue um, eyeliner could be cool to do so we're going to actually use that multitasker brush but the small end of it this time and I'm gonna actually get it moist where's my setting spray so I'm just gonna spray and get it moist okay anytime you want to make the eyeshadows like stick more or be more vibrant and bold use a little setting spray on your brush before you go in i have glitter all over here <laughs> should we do the glitter glitter i'm wondering if i should go in with some silver i might do it i might do it okay so i'm gonna grab that denim again and do a liner with it so i'm going to get a good amount on here 
let's see how this works out. And I love how the multitasker brush just glides, makes your shadows just glide right on there. Love it. Now, obviously these are not colors I would do on a typical day, but hopefully some of the tips of how I'm applying it, you'll be able to apply to your own colors on a regular day. Okay, let's do the upper lash, because why not? I'm just kind of smudging it on. Fun. Okay, let's get that silver glitter out. I am just going all out today, guys. <laughs> I am going to use Shenandoah. That is our silver glitter, if I can find it. I don't do too much with our glitter glitter ones, but we have four glitters to choose from. We can have this orangish, copperish color, gold. This is like such a pretty gold. Um, I love it for like if I'm going out, ladies night or something like that. Pink is La La Land and this is the Shenandoah that I'm thinking of putting on with that white because I think that'll be really pretty. I'm not gonna go too crazy, but if you use your finger, it just picks up so nice and then just kind of set it and press it where you want it. Can you see that? Let's do a little more so you can really see the sparkle. Oof. I'm going to finish it off with some mascara and it will look so good. Okay. Who loves this glitter? So pretty. I wish I did have a place to go. Okay, we're going to do the rest of my face now. I'm going to go grab this magical stuff. I'm going to show you. It's not Saint stuff, but I use it for getting um, glitter and fallout and really cleaning up an eyeshadow look. I'll be right back. Let me grab it. Okay, so if you really want to clean up glitter, because um, I know that that is, can always be like a problem for some people. Like I wash my face, I have like good cleaner, you know, like I use my Saint stuff, but that glitter can be really pesky. And also like I have some fallout here. So sometimes I do this before I put on my main highlight and stuff. So this is actually a Mary Kay brand, um, oil-free eye makeup remover. You shake it up and then I put some on a Q-tip like this, so it's moist now. And then I just go under and I kinda just pick up anything that fell off and clean, the, clean it all up. And that really works well for the glitter. So at the end of the night, I'll probably end up using it. So I'm just gonna go around and do, and then I turn it and then dry it off this way. And if I swirl, not swirl, like twist it, twirl it, it helps get it off. But do you see how that just really cleaned up underneath that? So I'm gonna do my other eye and then let's do a quick highlight contour. Let's do like a pop of red, like a nice red um, eye, not eye, oh my goodness, lip. But I'll probably keep my cheeks pretty um, neutral since we have a really bold, um, I got glitter all over my face on here. At least the highlight will cover that up. Okay, so I find that to be a really great product for really removing those pesky eye glitter and that kind of stuff. Okay, so that really just cleaned up here. I am going to let it dry for a second, and then I'm going to put my highlight and my contour on. Isn't it amazing stuff? This is like, I always keep this in my back pocket because sometimes you just need something just for eye makeup removing. Okay, 
Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so now to the bread and butter of Saint, of course, is our highlight in our contour. Let's go ahead and do a quick look. I'm gonna pull my hair back a little bit. I'm gonna use the 3D brush. Let me clean up a little glitter. I can't stand all this stuff. I gotta stay clean. <laughs> okay, so let's go in with contour first. And I'm gonna do a lot. I'm actually gonna use a couple brushes. I'm gonna place my makeup and then blend, okay? So I'm gonna use the detail brush and I'm gonna use this smaller end and go into my contour. Now I've had some ladies lately talk to me about their contour and not picking up enough color. You might need to warm up your contour. The consistency might just not be warm enough because when, like I went in and I do kind of rock it, but like I get a good amount on there. So if you're ever having issues with anything, it doesn't just have to be contour, let me know. And I love, love being able to help you problem shoot and usually figure out what the issue is and we get it just fine. Okay, so I love this small end of the detail brush to, I just said detail brush, that's not, this is the buff brush, um, to sculpt out my face and go on um, where my contour goes. So I, like you can tell, I'm just placing where it goes. I love being able to give my like face a little lift right there. Just a little bit under here, under my jawline. Okay. Um, let's do a little bit on my nose because, you know, why not? I'm just going to show off all kinds of brushes today. Okay, this is the detail brush. I love the big broom end and just picking up enough on that outer corner. And I'm just going to like stamp it on here. And then we're going to stamp it on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not a fantastic nose contouring person, but right now it just looks like put mud all over my face, but that's okay because this stuff is magical. Just trust the process. Now I'm going to go in and put my, um, my brightening shade. I don't do a brightening shade all the time, but I am going to go a little bit. I'm going to use the small end of the 3d brush and just clean up right there and give myself a nice little lift. Got to be careful with the, the eyeshadow right there. A little bit in the inner corner, a little bit up here. And then I like to use my finger to go down the center so it doesn't get too thick. Okay. So today we are just paint by number. I'm putting my colors all over and then we'll mix it up. I have my war paint on. That's basically what I'm doing. <laughs> now I'm going to get my highlight shade, my main highlight shade, and I'm going to put that everywhere that I have not put color. So this is keeping to that tried and true one layer makeup so that we don't feel cakey and we don't have so much makeup on our face. It's already coming together, even if you think I might look a little crazy right now. Okay. So I'm just kind of, it's kind of like doing that dot method. I'm gonna put a little bit extra using my June on my redness here, just because I want that redness to be covered. It's not exactly the dot method because I am like filling in everywhere, but we're gonna blend it in. I tell you, it's paint by number. Okay, now I got my color almost all over. I only used the colors that I needed and placed them. Okay. I look so colorful, don't I? Okay, now I'm gonna go around with my 3D brush, the big poofy end, and I'm going to start light to dark, and I'm going to get this hair. I don't know what is in here. Okay, and then I'm just going to lightly tap dance all over my face on those light points. Like so. And you're just gonna do that all over until it's all blended in. And it will just become your second skin.
And if you're doing these stippling motions, you're just getting it placed right into your, right onto your skin. And it's just going to become that second skin. You're not even going to feel it throughout the day. Absolutely love that. And when you're doing that stippling motion, you're not spreading the colors all over. And they're going to, wherever you put those colors, they're staying in those spots. Okay, so I'm almost done with all the light colors and then we're going to blend out contour. Don't forget to do under your jaw. And then the contour around your hairline really gives you a beautiful sculpted, leaner, thinner face, which I love. And then I'm just going to lightly Blend in that cheek contour. Like that. Okay, so I need to warm up my face because um, I love having that sun-kissed look. So you could totally just have this with your contour. But I love having that more bronze look face, especially in the summer, but all year round, okay? So, and because I also, so my face is a little bit lighter, I use a lot more sunscreen on my face than my body. So I want it to really, I want to bring this warmth that I already have on my chest and I want to bring that back into my face, okay? Now that my face is all nice and even, my skin tone, you're not seeing all the redness in my cheeks anymore, which um, I absolutely love. I got highlight on my lips. That's okay. So we are going to put some bronzer on because you don't want to miss this step. Bronzer is so good. Um, if you have not played around or checked out our um, bronzers, they're all cream. Um, today I'm going to be using Bella Bronzer right here. She's got some sisters. Bella Bronzers are original. But we also have two that are lighter and one that is darker. So depending on your skin tone really or how dark or light. Um, so I'm just going to go in and swirl and just place that contour, not contour, bronzer on the high points of my face. So where I naturally get sun kissed in the summer. So you can already see how that has warmed up my face and like is really blending in with my, um, the rest of my body. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to blend that out in a second, put a little bit more here on my cheeks and then we're just gonna blend. And I just kind of do swirling motions, but that sun-kissed look that this, bron like bronzer, I never, I was actually afraid of it. I should just be honest, I was afraid of bronzer, especially because it's cream. Um, but when I finally tried it, I was like shocked at how it just brought that warmth to my face that I was missing when I was doing just my normal highlight. And I don't do bronzer all the time, but I really, really love how it can, if you're in between colors, especially, um, it really warms you up. And can you see how it just really blends my entire face, my neck into my chest? So if you do not have bronzer yet, look into it. Let me know if you need suggestions. Um, most people can pull off, oops, excuse me, can pull off um, Bella. I've seen ladies that wear like Aura White Peach that wear that. Like those are the very, some of the, like the lightest color skin tone um, or highlights that we have. And then ladies with lots darker skin tone than I do that wear Bella. Okay, so let's just do a very neutral cheek. I'm going to go in with, let's just do um, some Frenchie. I'm just going to go right here. Such a pretty coral color. Just giving them a little bit of rosiness, but not too much because I don't want it to overpower my eyes. And now I'm going to do a bold lip too. So what do we think? It's coming together, ladies. I'm so excited. Okay, so we are going to do a fun pop of color and it's actually called pop. And... I find that I did just post a um, picture 
or a video of my friend Jerrica who was showing off some of our reds um, lip and cheeks and she did a fun look using um, saffron and scarlet I believe it was um, but I want to use pop but she did make this comment about using your contour to line your lips especially if you're using a darker color it just does a it just, it just looks better I think <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go into my my contour and just lightly line my lips okay I might it's not like really over lining them but it is kind of going on the outside and you don't have to be perfect at this and I'm just gonna Just try to tap it out, okay? Okay, now let's go in with pop. This is a pop. This is one of our holiday sized ones, so it's a half tin. Um, but it's such a pretty color. It is a gloss. I love glosses on my lips, so that's what we're going to go in with. Look at that pretty red. Who needs this glossy, glossy red in their life? Okay, so this is like one layer. Let me really... Okay, so that's like one layer. You could totally build it up even more. I might do it just a tad more. Mm, it feels so silky smooth. That's why I love the gloss on my lips. Okay, what does everyone think? Of course, we got to finish off a little bit of illuminator. We need to do a little bit more shine. We're going to use that Glamazing again. I'm going to grab my blend brush. Let me see if I can find it. Huh, that's okay. I'll just use this. is one of our Demi ones. It's actually on sale right now. It's very loose like the blend brush, um, but it's perfect for powder illuminator. So I'm going to grab that illuminate. That's not the right one. I'm going to grab that Glamazing illuminator again. Just go kind of light on it and hit just this top point with a little bit of glitter because we need glitter on this festive day, don't we? So pretty. I hope you all are having such a fabulous day. I hope you have a great week and let me know if you ever need anything. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys get to watch some amazing fireworks tonight. I always look forward to that on the 4th of July. So there is my fun fire cracker 4th of July look from start to finish. If you're just hopping on, definitely rewind and rewatch it. I think it turned out pretty fun and festive. Now we just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do tonight. <laughs> Bye everyone.